So OpenAI has finally released its strawberry model, or now they are calling it OpenAI O1 in preview mode. This model is actually able to think before answering, and it is way better than GPT-40. Let's dive in. So I'm gonna quickly review the blog post they have uploaded, then show you some of the videos they have uploaded demonstrating the capability of OpenAI's O1 model, and then we're gonna try it ourselves. First, they are saying, we developed a new series of AI models, so it's not just one, that designed to spend more time thinking before they respond. They can reason through complex tasks and solve harder problems than previous models in science coding and math. So it's gonna be a bunch of family of models such, such as like Llama 70B, Llama 400 and 5 billion parameters, but small, big size, but they will be able to think through the problems. Now, how does it work? We train these models to spend more time thinking through the problems before they respond, much like a person would. They learn to refine the thinking process, try different strategies, and recognize their mistakes. So it's not just clever prompt engineering. The model is figuring out what to answer and what to think. In our test, the next model update performs similarly to a PhD student on challenging benchmark tasks in physics, chemistry, and biology. So for these three categories, physics, chemistry, biology, it's already PhD level student performance. But for math and coding, it excels as well. So it's not as good in math and coding as the other three categories, but it's pretty good. Here's the mind blowing fact though. In qualifying exam for International Mathematics Olympiad, GPT-40, which was the previous state of the art model, correctly solved 13% of the problem, while the reasoning model scored 83%, the new one. So it went from 13 to 83% just in one generation of jump. And this is not a normal exam. This is International Mathematic Olympiad. If the name is not convincing enough, it's a pretty challenging exam. The coding abilities were evaluated in contest and reached 89th percentile of code force completions. Means it's a pretty good coder as well. You can read more about this in our technical research post. As early model, it does not yet have many of the features of chat GPT that it makes it useful, such as browsing the internet or uploading files. So for most of the tasks, GPT-40, the previous model is still more useful because you can upload files or like browse internet. But this one is a next level model and it's gonna be very useful as well. So we can go through safety a little bit later. Let's look at OpenAI's demo first. So the first one I wanna show you is like the snake game one. So basically they are asking this new model, GPT-40, preview version to actually create a snake game and it thinks for about 15 to 14 seconds and then it generates a code. As soon as you paste the code in an environment where it can run the game, the game is flawlessly working in the first prompt, first attempt. It said implement snake game with HTML, JS and CSS and uh, it created this code as soon as they pasted the code in the environment. So restart, use WASD to control. Okay, we have um, this little green snake. And uh, one attempt. And then they ask it to add obstacles in the shape of character AI, and it was able to do it immediately. It actually looks like a giant AI on the screen, and uh, there are all the obstacles. So Another great example they provided was actually using it to translate. So in this video, the guy is explaining how it is complex to translate Korean to English if there are some misrepresented characters. A human can actually easily understand it, but for AI models, even the previous model, GPT-4, oh, it was having really hard time. But for open AI O1, it's gonna be easy, a walk in the park. Let's do a demo ourselves. So I tested how many times the character R appears in the word strawberry and it says two times. I did a typo as well, and for the typo, it got it right, but for normal word, instead of three, it just said two. Now, let's copy the same prompt and use the new model and see how it performs. So if you go here and open AI's new version, then we can start the new chat, and then there you go. Now, it's thinking. You can click on it, and if it's actually coding something, it can figure out how many you can actually see what it is coding but here it says thought for a few seconds counting hours i am telling the occurrence of r in the word strawberry 
laying out the letters and their positions, I identify R's in position 3, 8 and 9. To determine the number of times R appears, as you can see, it is very thoughtful. It's actually figuring out, okay, I need to find out this character and it appears in these three positions and then it actually validates it, it checks it. So, okay, this is the first R, second R and third R. So by examining each layer, you see how thoughtful this answer is compared to the previous answer of like, you know what, just two. Like it didn't think anything. But if you look at this one, it is very thoughtful. And I am way more interested in understanding what is the mechanism behind how it is doing that. So feel free to check out all of the other videos that they have published. They have actually published building the OpenAI's O1 model, which I want to check out too. But I think we should look at the benchmarks as well. Math competition, this is the state of the art. This is the model that we used to think it's the state of the art. It scored 13.4, but this O1 model is 83.4. Three. For coding assignments, it was 11% accurate, but now it is 89%. Some of these things are just really hard for me to even believe that uh, these models are just like out there, we can use it. And this is what is available to public. So I'm just amazed what these scientists at OpenAI Labs are able to play with. I think the, the, the most cutting edge is um, way advanced. The PhD level science questions the O1 is pretty good, the preview version, which is 78.3. So th this is the preview version that we are having. So for math comp like for math questions, it can actually be at 83.3, but the preview is just 56.7. So I'm assuming the preview version is a little bit smaller than what the state of the art they have actually is capable of doing. And here's a great example right here, like the code competition, the preview is just 62% and it's, capable to do 89. Almost every single case except for AP English language, Owen is improved significantly. I think here's a golden nugget. Through reinforcement learning, Owen learns to hone its chain of thought and refines the strategies it uses. It learns to recognize and corrects its mistakes, learns to break down tricky steps into smaller steps. It learns to try a different approach when the current one isn't working, this process dramatically improves the model's ability to reason. To illustrate this step, we showcase the chain of thought from O1 preview on several difficult problems below. Use the example about to decode this one. So they are just giving an example that if this is the input text, the decoded text is think step by step. Use the above example to decode the following one. Now GPT-40 did that and it says, however, to make meaningful decoding, I would need more context about the transformation. Could you provide additional information? Basically it failed. But here, the chain of thought prompting actually yielded a meaningful result. And it says, there are three, there are three R's in strawberry. So this was the answer. And uh, not only it can count how many R's in the strawberry, but it can actually decode it if you give it as a cipher. Now let's look at the coding charts. So GPT-4 is at 11th percentile. The preview version is at 62 percentile. The O1, which is the, I'm assuming the Orion one is at 39 percentile. And there is another model, which I don't even know uh, what IOI stands for. It's even better than the O1 that they actually put it out there. And I have to emphasize this, these coding challenges, these math Olympiad tests, these are really complicated things. People take years to practice it and stay still not able to get, not only get awards, but not even able to compete in those competitions. And these new models are coming left, right and center and they're actually just beating it. Another great chart is human preference evaluation. So they're comparing the performance of GPT-40 versus O1 preview and which one of these two models response humans actually prefer. And they're saying that people prefer O1 preview in domains that benefit better from reasoning, such as mathematical calculation, data analytics, computer programming. Editing text is almost 50-50, but personal writing still GPT-40 is better. So if you wanna write an email to someone, I think GPT-40 is still your man. So there you go guys, Orion O1 is out. In preview mode, if you are a GPT Plus subscriber, you'll be able to try it out. But just get excited for the new advancements that are happening in the world of AI. 
the new challenges are going to be faced by us as a society, but it's going to be fun. Thank you.